you plan on traveling to Qatar, you must ensure you have a valid visa. And I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video how to check the genuity, how authentic your visa is, if uh, your visa is actually approved or not. I'll be showing you that at the end of this video. But on today's content, I'm going to be discussing with you all why your visa application is being rejected and also the Qatar visa terms and their meaning. And if this sounds interesting to you, kindly keep on watching to the end. Don't miss out on any point. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're just seeing this face for the first time, it is good to have you here. Now let's get right into our video for today. The first reason why your application might be rejected is because you have um, incomplete or incorrect details. That is why before you submit your application, please do a double check so that at the end of the day, you don't waste your time. While the second reason why your application might not be approved is if you have a criminal record. Maybe there's something, maybe you've lived in Qatar before and you've done something wrong. Or maybe you are planning to bring your family and you have a criminal record they might not grant you that um, app, um that visa while the next one is your travel history maybe you have overstayed in qatar before or maybe you have been deported from another country before so that might actually affect your visa application but this might not be applicable to everyone i've seen some people who are deported and yeah, they got their visa. So it's depending on the type of record you have in your pre in the previous country you are coming from. Next one is financial stability, and this is more common to people who are about to bring their family. Don't make sure Qatar wants to make sure that you are able to cater for anyone that you are bringing to the country. And if your salary is not matching up to that requirement, your visa might be rejected. The next one is employment status. Yes. If maybe your record has been showing that maybe you are unemployed or you have been unemployed for a long time and you're planning to bring your family over, it might affect. And also your professional status. The type, I've said it before on my channel, the type of status you have determine if you're able to bring your family on resident visa. But if you are, if you bring your family on visit visa, any status at all can bring their family on visit visa. But on resident visa, you have to have, there are some peculiar status that you need to have to bring your family. So this can affect your visa application. While the next one is medical condition, if you have like contagious disease or a disease that is um, a threat to the public health, they might not grant you that visa. Going further is if the company that wants to apply for the visa for you is blacklisted, I've gotten some people, they sent me a message and said their company said their visa is on process for a long time. Most of the times, these companies, they know that they are having issues. Maybe they are WPS, there are some things they have not done. Maybe the government have given them a fine, they've not paid the fine. They cannot apply for a visa for you. So if your company is blacklisted, they cannot apply for visa for you or that person or that company cannot sponsor you while the next one is your sponsor did not submit the accurate documents we have what is called computer card there are some document that your sponsor is supposed to submit maybe the person um, is not fully aware and the person is not submitting all the required documents this can actually affect while the last one i'm going to be talking about is your nationality Every companies have like, maybe there, there's a particular nationality, number of visa they give to them. Maybe for example, let me take it Nigeria. They want to like um, bring you from your country to work for them. But maybe currently, um, Qatar haven't given them, issued them Nigerian visa. That means they cannot bring you to Qatar, even though you are qualified for the job. But because of they don't have your nationality or your country's visa, they would not be able to bring it. That means they need to go to another country or another nationality that they have that visa available so that is some of the reasons why most people they will apply for job and they'll tell me that i've been applying for countless number of jobs i'm not getting callbacks most of the reason is the the recruiters they don't want to waste their time because they don't have your country's nationality and in qatar they give you visa maybe for example they might give you like okay you bring Filipi filipino visa maybe they have like 10 maybe bangladesh visa maybe they have like 15 
Kenya visa, maybe they have like 20. So Nigerian visa, maybe they have like 10. So it's depending on the visa that is being approved to them for them to apply for. So that is what they're going to apply for. So if your company does not have the requirement, that nationality visa, they might not be able to apply for it. So that these are the reasons why your application might be rejected. Now, let me show you guys how to check your visa. I've gotten lots of messages from people that um, my agent, I don't know if my agent is lying to me about my visa. My agent sent me a screenshot, but I don't know how genuine it is. I'm going to be walking you guys through how it's just a very simple method for you to like check your visa online. And this you can check with your passport number. You don't need to even go far. You go online and search um, how, how to check visa status in qatar is already there you search it then you are going to see moi.gov.qa you click on it it's very just easy so um here you put your visa number and passport number but it's because you don't have the visa number you don't need to put the visa number just put your passport number nationality and um, type in this number here then you feel you put it submit it's going to bring out your details okay if your visa is ready to print or maybe is not ready to print I'm, I'm going to be telling you all the terms that you all need to be on the lookout for when you are searching for your visa okay there are some people that will, they are going to send me like a screenshot that I don't know what the meaning of I don't know I don't know the meaning of this thing so I'm going to be walking you all through the meaning of this visa term so that when you find it there it's going to be very easy for you to understand the first term you, you might see is valid to use this means that your visa is approved and you can use it for you can print it out and travel with it while the next term is ready to print it means your visa is approved and your sponsor needs to pay the fee there is a certain visa fee that your sponsor needs to pay so your visa your sponsor will have to pay that fee then he or she can print out that visa just note that you cannot print out your visa yourself no you cannot print out your visa it has to be your sponsor or the applicant the person that applied for you that can print it out because the person that have access to that visa so don't think maybe once your visa is ready to print then you can go behind your sponsor and print it out nobody's going to help you to print it out your sponsor needs to put in some some required details before he or she can print out that visa for you while the next one is used inside the country that means the visa has already been used to travel by maybe another person i don't know but whenever i see used inside the country that means that visa is already in use while the next one is transferred to resident that means the entry visa I mean, for example the person came with a visit visa and the person then um converts the visa to, to residence is planning to like um, transfer the visa to resident so whenever you see um transfer to resident that means the visa have been transferred transferred from visit visa to a resident visa while the next one is under the outside process that means the your employment contracts and other documents have not been finalized maybe there are some things that they are still missing so they are they are trying to like put it in place while the next one you are going to see is on that process that means currently they are currently working on your visa application but if that on that process have stayed there for a long time it actually means your visa has also been rejected if it has stayed for maybe more than one month is still under process know that your visa has been rejected while the next one is visa have expired once your visa is given to you you have three months to come in with that visa to Qatar. once it exceeds three months that means that visa validity is expired you cannot use it again you you have to reapply again so please once your visa is out try to do your ne the necessary things buy your ticket within three months and come over to Qatar because after three months you cannot use that visa outside while the next one is cancelled it means the visa has been cancelled it's very clear it means the visa has been cancelled while the last one i'm going to be talking about is sorry the requested visa was not found that means maybe the visa was not even applied for at the first place for them to say that or maybe you entered an incorrect 
passport number so check these things before you check your visa but whenever whenever if you enter the correct details and it's show it's telling you sorry the requested visa was not found that means your visa was not even applied for at first it was not even processed so these are the reasons why your visa might be rejected and also the visa terms that you need to um for you to understand the visa terms okay and if you find this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up and share with family and friends if you are new to this channel why haven't you subscribed tell me why haven't you subscribed and please guys watch my adverts this is a way for you all to like support me this is a way for me to like make little little penny out of what i love doing okay and as as i usually say you can send me thanks super thanks send me something okay to support me to tell me that you keep i need to like keep on going i'm not feeling fine and i'm making this video for you all am i not that nice i am very nice so please support your girl and if there are any topics at all that you want me to touch on you want me to discuss about please feel free to put it in the comment section or you can send me a dm via my instagram handle or via my email check the description box for all my contacts you can reach me through this means and to all my returning subscribers thank you all for always coming back to cheer me up thank you for always coming back to watch my videos see you all in the next one but always remember to love yourself bye